Hello and welcome to my channel. I am starting a new series where I go through the problem sets from Harvard, CS50's Introduction to Programming with Python. I hope you have watched the lecture and taken down notes and read through some of the notes and stuff and tried the problem sets. And if you are having troubles, you can watch this video and try to solve the problem. I hope I can be of great benefit to you guys. So let's get started. So indoor voice. I hope you've read through this problem set. We are basically uh, supposed to create a program which prompts the user for an input and the input will be converted into lower case. Okay, so in this problem, how I would solve it is by using uh, some of the methods that uh, Python provides for us. You can just take a look at the documentation um, that was given by the video, which was um, this one, Python's documentation on string. Okay, and here you can find a lot of the methods provided by um, Python. All right, so we have this class which is called string, and then all the methods, string methods. All right, very important. And David Mellon also pointed out that we should learn how to read documentations because uh, everything, all the problems that we have will be, um, if we can be able to solve them if you know how to read the documentation. Okay, so we have capitalized, we have case fold, we have center, count, encode. And yeah, so the problem is we have to lowercase everything that the person inputs. So we have to lowercase, we have to have this method which will lowercase every single letter in the string or the uh, words that we have, alright? So let's try to look for that. I mean, I know which one to use, but you guys can just take a look at all the methods here and read through what they do. But yeah, this is the one we were looking for. Returns a copy of the string with all the case characters converted to lowercase, alright? So let's try this out. Let's see. Uh, make directory indoor. Okay. CD indoor. I hope you guys know what these two commands do by now. Make directory just creates a directory. MKDIR CD moves into the directory and code um, opens the file. If there is a file or if there isn't, it will create a file for us to code on. Okay. So um, let's start. Prompts the user for input. So how do you prompt the user for input? It's just input. And since we aren't asking them anything, it's just going to be like that. If we were asking them something, it's going to be I enter a word or something, you know. But since that's not the case, we shall leave that for now. And we want to make it all lowercase. So we can just use the dot lower method. Let's see if I'm using it correctly. Seems correct. And then we can very easily just print this out. Um, yeah. So let's try it. Um, Python indoor.py. Okay. So now hello world. Okay. Wow. We made it. Great. Um, so now we can try to test it out. That was pretty fast, actually. Um, yeah, so yeah, documentations are really, really important. If you know how to read them, that's hella awesome. If you have any more questions, just feel free to comment down below. I'll try to help you answer your questions and clear your doubts. Wow, awesome. So let's submit. So, um, you know how we can control C or control V in the command? Uh, we can use an alternative with the command line, sorry, the terminal. That's what I meant. Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, yeah, what you can do is just press control shift V or control shift C. That will help you copy. Okay, so we are done. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day ahead.